we're one of the largest financial services organizations in the world. So we provide services such as investment management, portfolio guidance, retirement planning, benefits outsourcing, um, and, you know, and many other associated financial services. So we've got a lot of customers out there. So globally, we have 25 million plus customers. So both individual customers and institutions. Um, here in Ireland, we're here 20 years. So we were formed in 1996. And we have approximately a thousand employees spread across both Dublin and Galway. Interestingly, we're the first non-US um, part of the organization where we provide both technology and operation services. And it's that integration of technology and operation services, you know, that we're, that we're known for as an organization. Why is Fidelity as an organization in Ireland? Well, a number of reasons to that. I would say the first thing is talent, access to talent. Um, you know, that's a really important part of what we, we bring to the table here. Um, so we have a highly educated workforce in Ireland. And we're also a gateway to Europe in terms of talent. The second thing is tenure. So hopefully this speaks to the environment that we have here. Um, you know, we, we retain our people. We build up that sort of institutional knowledge, you know, and that, that's a real strength of the organization here. Our location works well for us as well. So, you know, Fidelity now have um, organizations in both India and China, so in Asia. So we're uniquely positioned to have an overlap between the US and the Asian organizations. So we have that sort of time zone overlap. Why do people like to, to work with the Fidelity organization? Why do we retain people? So I think first of all, our values as an organization, we have strong values. So diversity, you know, being one of those. Um, for instance, here in Ireland, we have over 30 different nationalities in the organization. Um, teamwork and collaboration, those are strong values as well. Innovation is another very important part of our culture, part of our organization. So innovation with a capital I, innovation with a small I, you know, being able to do those small changes that, that make a difference if we add them all up together across the organization on a, on, a, on a daily basis. And interestingly, we have a large presence here in our FCAT organization. So that's the Fidelity Center for Applied Technology. That's the group that are kind of, you know, look out to the future, see what technologies are coming down the line, investigate those, you know, play around with those and bring those back into the broader organization. And lastly, something that's really important to, to me is, is the learning organization part of our cu culture. Um, so, you know, different ways of, you know, developing our people is really important. There are different ways of doing this through training, through mentorship, you know, putting people on the right um, work, giving them stretch, stretch opportunities and you know a deep-rooted part of our culture is our communities of practice so we have a number of communities of practice in Ireland including the data community of practice of which myself and Linda here are part of. Um, so the community of practice in data you know there's a number of different aspects to that. There is the networking aspect, you know, being able to find, know people in different parts of the organization, what's going on in different parts of the organization, sharing that, um, and then being able to, you know, spread that out, the practices, the technologies, um, throughout parts of the organization. There are many definitions of data science. We like the definition that data science is a deep knowledge discovery through data inference and exploration. Um, data science generally leverages the, the troves of raw information available and to uncover hidden insights in that data. The role of data science creates, is, creates an important role these days in organizations where it provides strategic and tactical uh, decisions using the, the, the knowledge and insights of this data. Data science is a multidisciplinary field um, and requires skills in kind of three core competencies, um, maths and statistics, maths and stats. Um, it is essential that you're able to build uh, repeatable, reproducible um, statistical models. Technical skills are important in data science. Um, a data scientist needs to know how to wrangle this large volume of, of, of data through um, data management practices or data engineering practices such as data ingestion, 
cleansing of the data and data transformation. Programming skills in the data science field such as R, Python and Scala are becoming increasingly uh, more common for a data scientist to have these particular skills. Um, as well as that is the intersection of, 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 of maths and stats and technical along with strong business acumen. Um, a data scientist needs to have a keen sense of um, approaching a, a, a business problem uh, and, and providing a solution through data insights. It's very important for a data scientist to be able to tell a story um, of, of how they approached the business problem and how they came up with the solution and being able to distill that information into a very um, comprehensible, easy to understand um, storyboard um, and that's where data visualization skill sets uh, play a, a large part um, of the multidisciplinary field of data science. So the data science capability was established about a year and a half ago in Ireland. Its main purpose was to upskill our associates, um, data analysts, business analysts, systems analysts in the data science field. We provide a sandbox for experimentation for associates. We provide a suite of best practices and, and how-to guides with working examples. So the sandbox is hosted on a big data platform. So, so any, whether you're a data engineer or an analyst, you have access to an area that you can play around and, and uh, train up in the role of data science. We are looking to establish a peer review um, of statistical models created by the associates by um, our data scientists that exist in Fidelity. What we're finding is the market for, for good technical folks, particularly data folks, is, is, is quite tight right now. So what we've been looking at is building our own internal pipeline, so building, our own, building up our own talent internally. So we're looking at that from two aspects, you know, transitioning people into new data roles and, and also augmenting the, the skill set of our existing data engineers. And we're doing that through our own data capability training program that we've been building called SUIS. So SUIS, as you're probably aware, it's a Gaelic word for up, but in the, in the context of our training program, it's, it's upskill, so looking to upskill our people. So we've developed it through the data community of practice, and you know, initially what we rolled out was a 15-day immersion program. So this is five subjects that we've covered, so SQL and PLSQL, data, general database concepts, data integration concepts, um, data lifecycle management and, and data modelling and, and that was targeted initially at people new to, to data, people transitioning into data roles. Um, so mainly we're looking at people who are coming off our graduate training programme which is called LEAP. So that's a, an annual programme that we have to introduce new talent into the organisation. So we developed that programme, we've run it a number of times, so a number of times here in Ireland but it's also actually been taken up by the organisation in India and the US, so it's been run there as well. So that was our starting point. And now what we're focusing on is, you know, our existing data engineer folks, how do we upskill those to take on higher value work? We've been doing two things around this. Number one, putting in place a broad framework, so around assessment and certification, so that we have, a, a, I guess, a recognised um, certification in the organisation that says to the organisation, here we have people who have achieve a certain level of comp competence in data and we have a number of different levels associated with that from um, beginner all the way through to distinguished and, and so now as part of that framework we're looking at building out, we've started building out some more advanced training content so content around areas like big data, analytics, um, database performance tuning and you know one of the interesting side roads has been our work with the the operations organization so in operations we a lot of folks work in the area of data management so they're not technologists but they're working with data and you know they've been really interested in the, the SQL aspect of the program we've put quite a few people through that training from operations and we're now we're looking at some additional modules that we will roll out for the operations folks as well so to date globally we've put true, I guess in excess of 200 people, true training, training modules or through the immersion program globally, so here in Ireland and as I said in India and in the US. Well Fidelity has a long-standing relationship with DCU for the last number of years, 
sponsoring programs such as Access and the All Ireland Programming at Olympiad. So this new degree in data science is aimed at students developing a career in data science related roles such as big data and analytics. We see the value and importance of an innovative program like this which helps to fill the ICT skills gap and demands of companies like Fidelity. Enjoy this video? Click here to get the latest careers news and advice and find us on social media.